Hello and welcome to this video. We are continuing with the solution to the question we started with on an example of a completely randomized design, CRD. In the last video, we started the solution to the question by looking at the name of the design, the linear additive model, the assumptions, the hypothesis, and then the layout. And uh, if you recall from that video, we came up with this table here showing the layout of the exercise. So we will continue from here to solve the problem. Now, after you have got to this stage of the layout, the next thing to do is what we call computation. So you do your computations and uh, for computations you start with correction factor. That's the first thing to be computed. So the first thing here is called correction factor. And we normally abbreviate it as CF in capital. Now, correction factor has a simple formula, and it is simply CF equals to grand total squared all over RT. R in this case, let me put that here, R stands for number of observations per treatment number of observations per treatment and T stands for the number of treatments so in this example you recall that each of the three treatments, A, B, and C, has one, two, three, four, five. Five observations in each, for each of them. So our R in this case will be five. T stands for number of treatments. And we have three treatments, A, B, and C. So our T will be three. So what is the grand total? The grand total is what is obtained by adding together all the items, individual items here. That is, it's equal to 23.3 plus 22.9 plus all the other values right to the last one here, 24.2. So everything there added together gives you the grand total. Now you will square that value and after squaring, you will then divide everything by RT. Again, we said R is 5 times T, which is 3. Our T is 3. So this is what we have as a correction factor and you evaluate this and that at the end of the day you will get 12126.82 if you evaluate this using the calculator that's what you will get now you have to take note of something you must do the addition first and square the numerator before dividing if you divide before you square you will be wrong so add up all the values to get the grand total square that grand total before you divide and that will give you your value for the correction factor now after the correction factor the next thing to be computed item 2 there to be computed is what we know as sum of squares for total sum of squares for total or 
You can also call it total sum of squares. It's the same thing. Total sum of squares. And usually we abbreviate this as SS subscript total. That's the abbreviation for total sum of squares. And it is computed with this simple formula. That's the formula for computing total sum of squares. And what does this mean? You will recall that from the linear additive model we looked at in the last video for completely randomized design, YIJ in the model stands for individual observation. If you recall that, you remember we said YIJ equals to mu plus TJ plus epsilon IJ. That's the linear additive model. So we said where this equals individual observation. So this individual observation refers to each of these items here, each of those observations. So what this is saying is you have to square each of those observations first and add all the squares together. That's this summation sign here. When you have done that, you then subtract your CF. That will give you your SS for total. And to do that is very easy. So we can say this equals to 23.3 squared plus 22.9 squared plus all the way to 24.2 squared. Sorry, 0.2 squared. Now, when you have squared each of them, no divisor for here. So you add up everything together like that, and now you subtract your CF. Don't forget, you already have your value for CF here. So that's the value you will subtract from all, the, all this. And that will give you your SS total. And in this particular example, our SS total is 627.4 point four nine that's our ss total six two seven point four nine so you evaluate this square everything add them up i mean square each value add them up and then subtract cf it gives you this value the next item we'll calculate here which is the third one under computation is what we call sum of squares for treatment sum or we just simply say treatment sum of squares so we say treatment sum of squares and treatment sum of squares we normally denote it with an abbreviation ss treatments ss subscript treatments that's how we denote it so here ss treatments is calculated as follows so we say this squared all over r everything minus cf so we have this now, if you look at this formula, you will recall that from our linear additive model, we have T subscript J there, standing for the treatment effect. So what that represents here is each, you come back to the layout, each of these values here. So for treatment A, this is the treatment total, 115.6. For treatment B, 187.3. Treatment C, 123.6. 123.6. So these are the TJ. So what this formula is saying is that we will square each of them, then add them together and divide by R. Don't forget our R is the number of observations per treatment, which is, which is five in this example. When we do all that, we then subtract our CF. So what that gives us in essence is 
I believe you can still yeah, see it down here. So this will be equal to 115.6 squared plus 187.3 squared plus 123.6 squared. Everything added together that way, divided by 5. So you evaluate that and you subtract your CF. When you do this, what you will have, let me put a warning. You have to make sure you square and add and divide by five before subtracting CF. That's why I have to put this braces here to be sure that you do this first before you subtract now when you do that your eventual answer will be 617.5 617.5 well to use two decimal places as we have here so 0 0.50 so that's our final answer for SS treatments. Now, having done SS treatments, there's one more computation we need to do before we, uh, in, in this video. So the last computation here, which is, which will be number four, I'll put that here and I believe we can see it, is called SS error or error sum of squares. It's called SS error. So SS error is simply calculated as SS total minus SS treatment. You see, this is very easy. Since you have obtained your SS total and SS treatment before, you just bring their values here. So this will be 627.49 minus 617. Point five zero, and when you evaluate that, it will give you nine point nine nine. If you subtract that, that's what you will get as your SS error. So, having obtained this, any other computation you need to do will be done inside your ANOVA table because the next stage, once you get to this stage. The next thing is to prepare the ANOVA table and complete the computations there. That will be what we will treat in the next video. See you then. Thank you.